Alright, so SAR is a 2D battle royale. It's free, and it's way better than this game. Are you a circle? And no, you do not have to be a furry to play this game, but you do have to be gay. It's in the rules. Alright, joking aside, this game may look cutesy, but don't be fooled. There's a surprisingly high skill cap, and in this video, I'll try to address the basic mechanics and gameplay to get you some wins. These are the default controls for PC. If you're on console or controller, just play a different game. Or, the controls can be checked in the settings menu. Be warned, I'll be going relatively fast, so feel free to pause or read up more in the description. You ready? For the first and most important topic, we have movement. From the beginning, movement has been the bread and butter of this game, particularly bee hopping. Not that fast. To start a bee hop, you'll have to jump, and then right after you land, you'll have to jump again. If you time it right, you should see sparkles behind you and get a small speed boost. Bee hopping is the fastest way to move, so you should be hopping everywhere. Who wrote this shit? Also, you run faster with your melee out. So yeah, while running from gas, collecting items, dodging bullets, even while fighting. This is the most important thing to practice, so don't fuck it up. I'm just joking. The most important thing is to have fun. Hmm. Okay, so this game has a bunch of guns in different tiers from white to gold, and you can carry any two at a time. If you're just starting out, the SMGs are pretty darn good and are used by beginners and pros alike. Also the AK, same thing. They can quickly drain someone's armor and health and are good at close and medium range. The guns in this game are pretty self-explanatory, except the bow and the crossbow, which put a 5 to 10 second marker on your target if you land a hit, uh, the poison dart gun, which deals poison damage to enemies and ignores armor, as well as heals teammates in duos and squads, and the dualies, which can be made by picking up a pistol when you have a pistol in one of your weapon slots. Here's a tip. When you're making the dualies, they will be the same tier as the highest pistol tier. So if I have a white pistol, and I pick up a purple pistol, they will turn into purple dualies. I personally prefer to have one gun that can shoot fast, like dualies, silenced pistol, AK, SMG, and then one gun that can do a lot of damage in a single shot, like a deagle, shotgun, sniper. But don't worry, the guns in this game are balanced. So just pick up a gun and go. There are three tiers of armor you can find while running around. Each tier of armor can take some amount of hits, and it depends on what kind of bullet hits you. Some bullets only take one tick of armor off, and some take all the ticks off. Here's some info. No info. And here's an example. Like say you get hit by a guy with a revolver, and you got level 3 armor. Your armor goes down 2 ticks, and then he hits you again. Just that one tick goes away. No health lost. But now, with a broken armor, you can get hit, this time near health. So if you kill him, or you manage to run away, you can now repair your armor with the duct tape. Press C, and heal up with health juice. Press Q. Damn it, already taped. Alright, this is an important topic. Barrels. Whenever a teammate goes near a barrel, you can shoot the barrel to break their armor and lower their health. God, dude. What the fuck? You should always do this, purely because it's fun. But only for you. I don't know why you left. <laughs> Eventually, your teammates will catch on and avoid explosive barrels altogether. Bro, get on! But they can't avoid all of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there are three throwables. Grenades, skunk bombs, and bananas, and you can only have one type at a time. Grenades are grenades. Boom. Skunk bombs are like molotovs. They deal area of effect damage in a circle for about 8 seconds. They're useful for blocking entry. Bananas are for slipping. And eating, but only with forks. You slipped. We'll explain later. If an enemy slips you somehow, you're probably dead. No way. Dead. Literally dead. They slipped on a banana. And then he slipped on a- He's dead. What? Power-ups. As of today, there are seven power-ups that give the player passive bonuses. I'll spare you the details and just tell you their main use. Or you can look at the chart. No chart. Claw boots. They automatically cut tall grass for ammo. Banana forks. They let you eat bananas on the ground. Ninja boots. They make you quieter. They're useless. Snorkel. They make you faster and take less damage while in gas. Cupgrade. Heal faster when drinking. Tape dispenser. On kill, enemy's armor will be repaired one armor bar. Ammo belt. Can carry more ammo and throwables. Alright, so now that you're familiar with the mechanics, let's get into the game. In the game. So now, you got solo, duo, and squads. If you play duos or squads, just remember you can communicate with your team by pressing enter to talk and chat. And you can pick things on the map by pressing Z. Also, if your teammate gets downed, try to res him ASAP. Just press E and wait. Never gets old. Oh, and I should probably mention that you can drop ammo by holding down ALT, or pressing I, and then dragging ammo out. This works with all items too, not just ammo. Okay, we can finally drop. It doesn't matter too much where you drop, but as you play, you will see some locations with a lot of traffic, and some that are fairly empty. It's just up to you how you like to play. You might find some red crates that ding, and these are awesome. They give you good weapons. Sometimes. Now, if you want really good weapons, you'll have to get them from the mole crate. Every so often, the delivery mole will spawn on the map, and after a little bit, the mole will drop a crate nearby, containing some high-tier items. This is the only way gold-tier items spawn naturally. Everyone on the map will get this notification. If you're down for some action, make sure to mark the crate on your map by pressing M and clicking on the mole, as the icon will disappear as soon as the chest is opened. Also, there's hamster balls, which are broken, and emus that can peck. Look at this bird. 
What a champ. You may find campfires in that, which can heal you for a short while, but they only work one time. If you fall behind in the gas and your health gets low, don't worry, you can stop to heal for a sec. Likewise, if you're down and get res in the gas, like in this case here, make sure to heal immediately yeah. before trying to get back in the circle. So at the end of the day, you shouldn't be too afraid of the gas, just watch your health. And that's the end of the tips. The rest of it's simple. Get loot, survive, and be the last alive. I hope this tutorial brought you up to speed on the basics, but there are many other concepts that weren't covered, like sniper rolling, loadouts, positioning, and strategy. These will be covered in future videos, so look out for them if you want. Thanks for watching, and thanks to the people that helped me make this video. Now go out there and get some wins. God, this song's so sad. Alright, that's the video. You can close it now.